Today, I'd like to introduce the agent builder is the fastest way to build voice agents from zero to production. We're going to build an agent together. Um, well, I'm going to do the building. You're, you're going to watch, but you're going to be participants and uh, we'll uh, run it, deploy it to production and see what happens. So um, over here in my web browser, I've got some tabs ready for you. Uh, so this is the LiveKit agent builder. And this is in the LiveKit cloud dashboard. So any project has access to this. Uh, you can do this on the free plan. You can do this on the paid plan. Um, this is a simple web browser experience. We've really focused on simplicity here. Uh, we know that we have an extremely powerful platform for building and deploying any kind of agent to do any kind of workload uh, in code. And we've really focused here on ease of uh, prototyping and proof of concept to get something that really gives you that wow moment and, and convinces you or your colleagues or your boss or anyone else to invest in voice AI, which we think is an amazing uh, new technology that we want to make more accessible. So this here is a uh, LiveKit agent uh, that just I just started this in the builder uh, this minute ago. I'm going to refresh because it's been open a little while. Um, I just uh, started this project uh, just before this. I didn't do anything here. This is the defaults. And right here in the, in the thing before I deployed it, I can talk to it. Hello. How can I help you today? Hi. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm a voice assistant designed to help you with information, answer questions, and assist with tasks using available tools. So this is a simple agent that's built. That's pretty much the same as our quick start. If anyone here has worked with LiveKit agents before, you've built an agent just like this. Um, uh, but one of the things that's amazing here is we can now make some uh, quick changes. So I'm going to put the microphone down and uh, type for a second. Actually, can I? OK, so uh, I'm going to make this an agent that can look up a stock price on demand. So I'm going to edit its default system prompt right here in the browser. So, so far I've edited the system prompt, uh, nothing too crazy here. Uh, let me go and uh, play around with tools. So we can add an HTTP tool to this uh, agent uh, right in the browser. So I actually happen to have one. Uh, over here, uh, we have this amazing uh, stock market API we built. Uh, this is not a new product we're launching. Um, but it, it looks like it because Cursor is pretty amazing at uh, putting out some production-ready stuff. Uh, pretty quick off a little prompt. This built with GPT-5. So I'm going to take this API, uh, go over here. OK, so you can see I've just uh, kind of plugged in a basic HTTP API. I'm sure everyone here is uh, familiar with that. Um, and it has one parameter symbol. You can build something much more complicated, but uh, it's already enough typing here for this demo. So I now have an agent, which is a stock market uh, helper. And it's got an HTTP tool. And we're going to see if that works. Hello. Welcome to LiveKit Dev Day. How can I assist you with stock prices today? Hey, could you tell me uh, what the current stock price of NVIDIA is? The current stock price of NVIDIA is $181.36. Would you like to know about its recent trend or some other stock? So uh, you can see here that it uh, performed a tool call uh, using the HTTP tool, fetched from the API, it showed up right here in the builder. So I can continue to iterate on this, but uh, for the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and hang up the preview. And let's take this to production. We love shipping things uh, here at LiveKit. Uh, got a lot of things to ship today. So I'm going to press deploy. Uh, anyone want to guess how quickly it's going to deploy? <laughs> One second. That's probably actually about the closest. Something funny going on with timestamps here. <clears throat> uh, also spinning up a web front end for it. And. Maybe it was closer to 20 seconds. 
<laughs> there we go. So I'm going to go visit this in the LiveKit Cloud uh, sandbox front end, which I just made for it. So this is now running in production. Hello, and welcome to LiveKit Dev Day. How can I assist you with stock market information today? And I'm going to hang up there uh, and uh, hand this uh, back to uh, David, who's going to, I think, take us through some other things. But I have now deployed a voice agent into production on top of a uh, LiveKit agent builder. There's a lot more in here. I'm really excited. Oh, actually, there's one more thing I, I forgot to share you, with you. Uh, so one thing about the way this is built is we've actually, uh, we really believe in code. We believe strongly that code is the way to take many of these agents into complexity. So this is actually built in code. Uh, this actually generates code on the fly. In the agent builder, you can actually see if I, for instance, uh, rewrite the uh, prompt, it will update in real time over here in the generated code. Uh, this is an actual LiveKit agent. If anyone here has built LiveKit agents, you'll recognize uh, this is the right way to do it. This is a best practices agent. The tool has been statically generated in code, so it's easy to follow. It works exactly the same way as any tool any expert developer would build with LiveKit. And this is what's deployed. It's deployed on top of the SDKs exactly the same way. It runs perfectly. It doesn't mix uh, runtimes with other sorts of agents. It runs in your LiveKit Cloud project. Um, and at any point, you can actually come copy this code or download a zip file containing this and an agentsmd file and a readme and everything else you need for a Python uh, project hooked up to our LiveKit docs MCP server we recently launched. Uh, and you can continue to confidently iterate your agent in code when you've outgrown uh, what's possible in the builder with a single system prompt.